So as the managerial tussle, the search for a black stars coach continues, I have some few updates for you on Chris Hilton and what he has been up to so far. And the latest report is that he is off to see the family of Tari Lamte. Quite interesting. We'll also hear from a member of parliament who has made a strong case for Chris Hilton and why he should be named as the next black stars head coach. He spoke with Angel FM. He had some quite interesting things to say. We'll have a listen to what he had to say. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. But before I begin all that news on the Black Stars head coach and everything, he has been up new Black Stars, purported new Black Stars head coach, and all he has been up to. I've posted a poll on the community tab on what combination you would love. Either Chris Hilton alone with his backroom staff, or Toado alone with his backroom staff, or Chris Hilton as the head coach, or Toado as the assistant. And we'll have both of the best of both worlds in that respect. But the Cameroonians have made an amazing gesture. The Cameroon national team, they have decided to donate the bonuses they earn upon reaching the knockout phases of the African Cup of Nations to the victims of the Olembe disaster, which took place during their game versus Comoros, leaving eight people dead and several injured and hospitalized. In my other video, I brought you the update about the Cameroonian FA president going to visit them at the hospital. But this one here, the Cameroonian players have told the Africa Food president, Samuel Leto, to donate their monies, the bonuses given them for reaching the knockout phases to the victims of that unfortunate incident. They made that decision after the quarterfinal game versus Gambia in which they won 2-0. The FECA foot president has been notified and the Cameroonian president Paul Bia announced last Tuesday after the stampede that the government will launch their own inquiry into the causes of the disaster with the country's force minister sharing some details of the findings on Friday. He told reporters that a massive and late influx of supporters and spectators caused the crash according to the government's findings and that is the door at the south entrance was temporarily closed by the police in the face of a surge of spectators while other doors were in operation. He added that security forces subsequently proceeded in a reckless manner to open the gate at the south entrance causing the stampede. The Olembe has been capped at 80% capacity, which is 48,000 spectators for Cameroon's fixtures during the competition in light of the coronavirus pandemic, with restrictions implemented in order to curb the spread of COVID-19. As the CAP president uh, in a press conference acknowledged that changes had to be made to avoid a repeat at Olembe and outlined his complete confidence in the Cameroonian government and organizing bodies to ensure safety during the remainder of the competition. He said, I have a fundamental duty as CAP president to ensure that facilities, infrastructure and safety at the stadiums are in line with standards worldwide. We can't say that Africa is lower than global standards. Whether it's safety or security, we have to ensure we're in line with the entire world. So great gesture there by the Cameroonian players donating that they are bonuses they've earned for reaching the knockout phases to the victims of this unfortunate incident that happened during the AK versus Commerce. I have to say, they need to be congratulated for doing that. My next story has to do with the Ghana Black Stars uh, head coach race. Uh, one of the participants, one of the uh, front runners in Chris Hutton is continuing his uh, quote unquote uh, works uh, after seeing the family of Hudson Odoi, the father of Hudson Odoi in an attempt to lure him uh, to play for the Ghana Black Stars, which many people are questioning. You've not been hired yet. Why are you doing all this? Well, it looks like he's someone who the government is really interested in and probably has been brought in by a government official, owing to what was said in this interview by an MP, which we'll have a listen to later. But the reports are circulating that he will meet uh, with Tariq Lamte's family before flying out to the United Kingdom this weekend, the 6th of February. The leading candidate for the Black Stars head coach role, Chris Hutton, is set to meet the family of Ghanaian-born defender Tariq Lamte over a potential nationality switch. And now the former Brighton boss is hoping to convince some Ghanaian players born abroad to join his team when appointed. 
And now Tariq Lamte has been one of the long-term targets of the FA among other Ghanaian players in Europe. A Chris Hilton, who is expected to be named the Black Stars coach in the coming days, according to sources, and will meet with the family of the Brighton defender to discuss the possibility of joining the four-time African champions Ghana. And now Hilton met the father of Chelsea star Callum Hudson Odoi on Sunday in Accra with reports of a fruitful discussion between the two ahead of a possible nationality switch, with Ghana struggling to get a better replacement at the right back position. Tariq Lamte has been tipped as one of the finest in the world to fill that position. Born in England, Lamte is Ghanaian descent. He's a youth international for England, having represented the Young Lions at the under 18 and under 21 levels. Tariq made his first appearance for England under 21 against Austria, having also represented the country at under 18, under 19, and under 20 levels. So, he's out at work and uh, some would say mr hewton you have not officially been given the job why are you doing all this well maybe he wants to show initiative uh, but some are questioning whether we need to rush to appoint a permanent manager the immediate um, game of concern is the game versus nigeria why not get a coach that will see us through that one then we change up and get a permanent coach who prepare us for the African Cup of Nations qualifiers and if the coach interim one at that is able to get us to World Cup, the coach that will come in permanently will take us and prepare us for the World Cup. What do you think about that man? Someone pointed it out yesterday in a Twitter space. I think all these things are feasible but if you have a coach who is readily available and taking initiative like this, why don't you get him? I suggested that probably he would think will be the head coach or Tuado assistant then we prepare for Atuado to pick, take over the helm of affairs in the coming years. Hilton is 63 years of age, Atuado 48 years. The future belongs to him and there's no need to rush him into the big seats right now. He can learn under a manager like Chris Hilton and pick up a few things and then take over the helm in the future. These are all feasible reasons and feasible ways we can go about appointing the new Black Stars head coach and how it should be structured. Let me know what you think about that. We'll have a listen to one of the members of parliament who was making a strong case for Chris Hilton and his appointment into the Ghana Black Stars as the head coach. Let's have a listen to what he had to say. Otuado is the second coach for Dortmund. Dortmund, yeah. Uh, Chris Hilton, one of our team from lower ranks. Yeah. So, Division 2. Domba, Division 1. I feel, but more days we don't buy premier. Premier, yeah. What the buy? What the buy? Yeah, who? Who be a? We no offer materials. Ah, our quality no. Unti me, I'm vouch for no put two of them together no. So no, me I me believe in such coaches. Cause unsung players. Okay. And now, what what develop on the tactics? So technically, they may not be very good players. But, but tactically, no. With me, with me, a wealthy one more together. One by a strong teamer. That coach, you call a very good coach. What you say? They say, materials are all no. And you're good, Papa. You need quality, no. I have Who can weld them together? I bet me, I bet me, I'm in good results. Who here your coach? I bet me, I yes, sir. A wealthy put, team. Together. A wealthy team no, together. Okay. So that tactically, say, ain't me, Shakura, to be difficult to beat us. Okay. What you what you that is what that is the coach American. We had the member of parliament there talking for the case of Chris Hutton, and uh, maybe the way he put it was not the best, but he is right in some sense. Hutton has a lot of experience than Ottoado, and rightly so, he ranks above him. Maybe Otto can learn under Hutton, Hutton, as I said, and be the assistant coach for the Ghana Black Stars and then take over the helm later in the future. This is how I would have done it. But let me know your thoughts in the comments box on how the Black Stars head coach should be appointed. You think the head auto assistant? Let me know how you want it to be. Or Hilton with his backroom staff. Or Toado with his backroom staff. No one under anyone. Just let me know what you think in the comments box. Uh, vote in the poll and let me see what you guys think on the community. 
a tab. So that has been it for today. Great gesture uh, by the Indomitable Lions. They have donated their monies they gained while making it to the knockout phases of the African Cup of Nations to those who suffered in the Olympic disaster. And also candidates for the Black Stars job uh, is said to meet the family of Tariq Lamte and uh, the, men, the member of parliament making a case for why Chris Hutton should be appointed as head coach. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week and happy new month to you guys. Have a great February.